Okay, this is just a quick video I'm doing just to show um, basically how to fix a problem that you can get with uh, Windows 10 if you're trying to connect to an L2TP uh, network or VPN I should say. So basically if you go into the VPN and then you try to run it and so then you connect basically what it'll do is it'll sit there um, this is basically if your VPN server is behind a NAT and you on your client machine is also behind a NAT as well. And it seems basically that Windows or Microsoft has set it so that um, in that situation, basically an L2, your Windows will not connect to an L2TP VPN unless you either change the uh, registry setting or you basically change your router um, or I should say you make sure that the VPN it comes from your router so if, you, so if it's too inconvenient to change your router what you can actually do with Windows 10 is change your registry setting so basically here in Windows 10 you get this message uh, admittedly with Windows um, 7 and Vista I think you actually get an error number but seems that they've taken it away with Windows 10 but basically what you have to do you would, the only option really is to um, change a registry, registry setting and Microsoft have the instructions for that on their um, on their website and you can see the title there so if you just do a search for some of that text you'll find it and basically this is the regis registry setting that has to be changed whereas this one here this is for Windows XP as you can see the off service pack 2 but any Windows which is Vista and above, it's actually this one that needs changing. So basically, if you go, just go into the Windows Start and just type Regedit. And then as it says, you have to go to it's H key, local machine, current control, oh sorry, you have system, current control set, and services, and then policy agent. You see how complicated Windows is. Admittedly, that's one reason I don't use it. Um, so in policy agent and what you notice is is basically it's asking you to, to create this key here but it actually doesn't exist in here um, so basically what you have to do is or easiest thing is because one thing you want to make sure you do is spell this to spell it right so if you just copy it from the, the web page and then you go just right click and do a new it says D word 32 bit and then just control V so at least you spelt it right then and then basically it gives you the values you can use here but see so zeros obviously doesn't help and then one is that if the server's behind on that but obviously you're going to be behind on that as well so you definitely need two so if you just double click it, just change it to 2, it doesn't matter hexadecimal or decimal, 2 is the same in both, so that's okay. And then it says you have to restart your machine now, so if you just give it a quick restart. Alright, so I just realized it's going to... I think he wants to do some updates. Let me just check. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to do something that you're not supposed to do and just just kill it, just to basically save time. Because one thing I found with Windows 10 is that even if you try to reboot it with the command prompt, it still does the updates. So, just crashing it is like the only way you can escape. Oh, well, 
See, it was trying. See, basically what, well, see, even when you crash it, but I think these updates are installed already. So it's the thing about Windows, it always trying to get these secret updates under your nose. Okay, so now we've restarted and the, if we go back into the VPN, well actually I should have just clicked on it. Then. And then we try to click again. So if we now connect, and there you go, see, as easy as that, connecting. So there you have, basically, if you ever get that message come up with no helpful error number with your l gp VPN, then basically it's only happening simply because um, Microsoft just doesn't like to have um, a NAT or network address translation, the l gp behind it. I suppose they've got their reasons for doing that. Um, but you just have to make that change in the registry uh, in order for it to, and then I'm just going to check that. Uh, so. so, so that's just a server that's behind the VPN. So just to be sure that that's the case, if we disconnect. And try it again. And you can see it's not connected there. And so then if we just connect again, and see how quick it connects as well. So it's obvious before, it's just because of the registry change, why it wasn't working. It's nothing to do with the server being down on your network or anything like that. And there we go, so we can ping it again. So that shows that that VPN is working nicely, because I found 100%. Always, if the ping works, it means everything else is going to work as well. Okay, so thanks for watching that, and um, hopefully that will help anyone who's having a problem connecting to an L2TP VPN. Uh, server that's behind the net. Okay, see you.